Today I'm going to show you guys how to install this extrusion head. And it shouldn't be too difficult to begin. As you can see, this is actually off and that's because we need to attach it to the back of this plate with the wheels. And now there is three screws for that. I have this, so what it's going to do is it actually attaches this way and then like like so, it should be like that. But anyways, let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to be screwing these parts into the back of the extrusion head. So this is the first piece that you're gonna to wanna to attach. I'm going to want to line it up with the holes. Now we have two last screws to do, and they are for this cover, and they're right here. Now let's get those installed. So these actually face us, and then that's what you're going to want to do. I'm going to do this off camera, but these are the places that you screw them in. This is what it should look like when they are installed. They should be flush on each side. Double check that. I had to, this this one had an offset when I tightened this side, so just have that as a reminder. So next step is mounting this to your Z axis. So I would recommend turning your printer, having the back of your printer face you, so that you are installing it so it looks like this. And that's where we're gonna go with our next step. I'm just gonna adjust this for you guys. So you're actually going to want to Disassemble your wheels like this. This will make the next step a lot easier. So what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna take your extrusion head and then find the middle of the Z axis. And I like doing that by just gently lifting up and then finding the middle. And then I hold it against the Z axis and I place my hand right there underneath it so it's holding on. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to wanna take one of the screws and then put it through the hole right here and slide on your spacer. And what that will allow for is a lot easier installation. Then you take your wheel and you're gonna wanna tilt the head back. And look at that, it just goes right on there and we repeat the process for the second one and put our spacer on and we put our wheel and we tilt it just ever so slightly back and there we go we have both all the wheels on there and now we have to tighten them so you take your nuts and then you thread them on here what I would do is I would recommend just trying to get them both on. I will be tightening these off camera, but I want to show you guys how I do this. And just ever so slightly tighten them on, and I'll be right back. So now that you have it all installed and it can glide freely, we have to hook up these belts to the head so it can actually move. And in order to do that, you are going to want to loosen your belt tensioner on the, if you're looking at the machine still from this angle, it'll be on your left. And then just unscrew it left, lefty loosey on it. And then you're gonna wanna find the bracket on this and it should be right here. And what you're gonna wanna do is slip this right in there and then pull it through and then take the other one and slide it through on that side. And then after that, you're going to want to go to the belt tensioner, move this over a little bit, and then you're gonna to wanna to just twist this until there's a decent amount of tension on the belt. You don't want it too tight or it can uh, ruin the belt, but you don't want it too loose either. There's a just right setting, and it's when there's a little bit of a bounce to the belt. And the way I'm testing that is I'm looking at the top 
in the bottom, seeing how tight I can pull it. And that feels just right to me. All right, so here we are. All we have to do is plug in our fan. I just installed it. So I'm gonna give that a good snap in there. And then I have to lift this up. We're gonna to wanna to take our belt and then these are two clips that you have to move to the side and then just press it right down and then buckle it up and our extruder is as good as new and we are ready to run again. And if you found this video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope your printer is up and running again.